Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a brand new Lego Harry Potter creation that I've built here, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. Now, this is supposed to be a remake or an improvement of the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire graveyard dual set. That there is a little bit lacking in my opinion. I've inspired myself from that little build there to make this build right here now thank you so much to lego through the lego ambassador network for providing me with parts and pieces to use to build this mock right here so without further ado let's check it out and see everything that it has to offer i've decided to use a ton of these bar pieces because i think that they're the best type of brick to use for the flooring here and i think it worked out pretty well in my favor and of course just to make the whole atmosphere of the mock seem a little bit more mysterious we have two spiders at the very front as much as i hate spiders i was like you know what something's missing at the front let's just throw some spiders there and see how that works out and it worked out pretty well there and at the very front we have some more of the rock work so the rock work here is meant to add some more depth right before the grave section i also decided to build this gate and along this side we have the dark brown along with the reddish brown as well and also some of these leaf pieces just hanging at the very top we have some more foliage at the front oh i have an idea so this is what happens while i'm filming i get these random ideas so i found this skeleton i'm just going to take the head off the skeleton and gently put it on cedric okay there we go that was really random but you know like and subscribe so basically along this side we have a tree with this dark orange color now i really love the dark orange tree color because i think it really helps in tying in the entire aesthetic of the creation along the center here we have the entire voldemort birth ritual if you will with a dead cedric diggory right there we also have the tri wizard tournament cup there it's not really fastened on anything i just threw it there because it's more scene accurate and along this side we have a grave here's a look at this little play feature that i've included so apart from having harry potter just suffer at the very top there you can just remove him and we have the statue which is actually taken directly from the 2019 set basically for this play feature all you have to do is just be a little gentle there and you can remove this entire section to reveal a skeleton we also have some more of these bar pieces around it and around the little grave here we have the sand green amongst some olive green there as well and like that it is back in its original position and along the very back here we have another one of these trees and again, I went with the dark orange color scheme along with the dark green there and some olive green with that reddish brown branch at the very back. And along the very back back, we have a spider web. And now this spider web can actually move a little bit. Just, you know, if you want to reposition it somehow, if you want to put it a little higher or a little in the center or whatever, just to add a more haunted vibe. And then, yeah, some more details, some more of the ingot bars there. And apart from that, along the very center, we have the main scene of the Goblet of Fire. We have Voldemort, Peter Pettigrew, an unnamed Death Eater, how mysterious, and another unnamed Death Eater, also how mysterious. And we're making a Voldemort clone in this scene because Voldemort is clearly there and what we have in there another Voldemort this here is the baby Voldemort in question around the pot I've decided to include these fiery translucent orange bricks just to show that something is brewing up in that pot there and then we have Peter Pettigrew missing his hand again a reference because I'm assuming you at least read the Goblet of Fire or watched the movie in terms of the method that I've used to create the walls again I've decided to go with the bar pieces and mix them up with some sand blue there the dark gray and the light gray mixed with some more masonry I also have some rock work going along there just to add a more rugged vibe to the creation and make it seem like this is a scene pulled straight from the graveyard and without having any figures in the way here is how the center portion of the mock looks like we have three graves here and along the very top we have these arc bricks once i've added the arcs it really pulled everything together in my opinion and i just really loved how that turned out so yeah and I guess before ending the video, here is a look at the sides of the creation. Again, a mismatch of bricks there. And that is pretty much it for this mock right here. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on my creation and if you think it's better or worse than the 2019 Harry Potter Goblet of Fire duel. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And on that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.